सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर इलेवन मैंस्यूरेशन फ्रॉम पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी नाइन टू पेज नंबर वन नाइंटी टू लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर इलेवन मैंस्यूरेशन पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी नाइन Eleven point one, introduction. We have learned that for a closed plane figure, the perimeter is the distance around its boundary, and its area is the region covered by it. We found the area and perimeter of various plane figures such as triangles, rectangles, circles, etc. We have also learned to find the area of pathways or borders. in rectangular shapes in this chapter we will try to solve problems related to perimeter and area of other plane closed figures like quadrilaterals we will also learn about surface area and volume of solids such as cube cuboid and cylinder 11.2 let us recall let us take an example to review our previous knowledge this is a figure of a rectangular park in figure 11.1 whose length is 30 meter and width is 20 meter figure 11.1 here we have a park with length 30 meter and width 20 meter there are also two rectangular flower beds of size 1.5 meter into 2 meter One, what is the total length of the fence surrounding it? To find the length of the fence, we need to find the perimeter of this park, which is one hundred meter. Check it. Two, how much land is occupied by the park? To find the land occupied by this park, we need to find the area of this park, which is six hundred square meters, or meter square how 3 there is a path of 1 meter width running inside along the perimeter of the park that has to be cemented if one bag of cement is required to cement 4 meter square area how many bags of cement would be required to construct the cemented path we can say that the number of cemented bags used is equal to area of the path by area cemented by one bag area of cemented bag is equal to area of park minus area of park not cemented path is 1 meter wide so the rectangular area not cemented is 30 minus 2 within brackets into 20 minus 2 within brackets meter square that is 28 into 18 meter square hence number of cement bags used is equal to dash 4 there are two rectangular flower beds of size 1.5 meter into 2 meter each in the park as given in the diagram you can observe in figure 11.1 and the rest has grass on it find the area covered by grass page number 170 area of rectangular beds is equal to blank area of park left after cementing the path is equal to blank area covered by the grass is equal to blank we can find areas of geometrical shapes other than rectangles also if certain measurements are given to us try to recall and match the following There is a table given here. In the table there are three columns and five rows. The first column is diagram, second column is shape, the third column is area. The contents of the first column are the shape rectangle with sides A and B, the shape square with all sides A, the shape triangle with base as b and height as h 
a parallelogram with height as h and base denoted by b a circle with radius b the contents of the second column are rectangle square triangle parallelogram circle the contents of the third column are a multiplied by a b multiplied by h pi b square half b into h a multiplied by b can you write an expression for the perimeter of each of the above shapes try these a match the following figures with their respective areas in the box a parallelogram with one side as 7 cm and another side as 14 cm a semicircle with 14 cm as diameter and 7 cm as radius a triangle with sides 9 cm 11 cm 14 cm and the height as 7 cm the areas given here are 49 cm square 77 cm square 98 cm square b write the perimeter of each shape here we have a rectangle with sides 7 cm and 14 cm then we have a square with all sides as 7 cm page number 171 one a square and a rectangular field with measurements given in the figure have the same perimeter which field has a larger area a a square with all sides as 60 m b a rectangle with side 80 m 2 mrs koshik has a square plot with the measurement as given in the figure she wants to construct a house in the middle of the plot a garden is developed around the house find the total cost of developing a garden around the house at the rate of rupees 55 per meter square here we have a figure in the middle there is a house outside is a garden one side of the house measures 20 meter another measures 15 meter as for the garden all sides measure 25 meter 3 The shape of a garden is rectangular in the middle and semicircular at the ends as given in the diagram. Find the area and the perimeter of this garden. Length of rectangle is 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 within bracket meters. Here we have the shape of the garden. Its length is 20 meters. 4 a flooring tile has the shape of a parallelogram whose base is 24 cm and the corresponding height is 10 cm how many such tiles are required to cover a floor of area 1080 m square if required you can split the tiles in whatever way you want to fill up the corners 5 an ant is moving around a few food pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor for which food piece would the ant have to take a longer round remember circumference of a circle can be obtained by using the expression c is equal to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle a here we have a semicircle with the diameter 2.8 cm b Here we have a semicircle with diameter 2.8 cm. There is another shape above it with one side measuring 1.5 cm. C Here we have a figure where two sides measure 2 cm and another measures 2.8 cm. 11.3 area of a trapezium nazma owns a plot near a main road you can observe in figure 
Unlike some other rectangular plots in her neighborhood, the plot has only one pair of parallel opposite sides. So, it is nearly a trapezium in shape. Can you find out its area? Let us name the vertices of this plot as given in figure 11.3. Figure 11.2 Here we have a plot. The three sides of the plot measure 20 meter, 30 meter, 12 meter. There is a road at the top of the plot. Figure 11.3 Here we have divided the plot into a rectangle and a triangle. The rectangle has two sides, 20 meter and 12 meter. 20 meter is given as A, 12 meter is given as H. Then there is the triangle which has the perpendicular as 10 meter and is named C. We also know that B is equal to C plus A is equal to 30 meters. By drawing EC is parallel to AB, we can divide it into two parts, one of rectangular shape and the other of triangular shape, which is right angled at C, as given in figure 11.3. Page number 172 Area of triangle ECD is equal to 1 by 2H into C is equal to 1 by 2 into 12 into 10 is equal to 60 meter square. Area of rectangle ABCE is equal to H into A is equal to 12 into 20 is equal to 240 meter square. Area of trapezium ABDE is equal to area of triangle ECD plus area of rectangle ABCE is equal to 60 plus 240 is equal to 300 meter square. We can write the area by combining the two areas and write the area of trapezium as area of ABDE is equal to 1 by 2H into C plus H into A is equal to H C by 2 plus A within brackets is equal to H C plus 2A by 2 within brackets is equal to H C plus A plus A by 2 within brackets is equal to H B plus A within brackets by 2 is equal to height sum of parallel sides by 2 By substituting the value of H, B and A in the expression we find H, B plus A within brackets divided by 2 is equal to 300 meter square. Try these. 1. Nazma's sister also has a trapezium shaped plot divided into three parts as given in figure 11.4. Show that the area of trapezium WXYZ is equal to H A plus B within brackets by 2. Figure 11.4. Here we have a trapezium Z, W, X, Y. One side measures A, another measures B, and another measures H. We have a rectangle in the middle. One side of the rectangle measures B. Another also measures B, but has the side C on the left side and the side D on the right side. 2. If H is equal to 10 cm, C is equal to 6 cm, B is equal to 12 cm, D is equal to 4 cm, find the values of each of its parts separately and add to find the area WXYZ. Verify it by putting the values of H, A and B in the expression H, A plus B within brackets by 2. Do this. 1. Draw a trapezium WXYZ on a piece of graph paper as given in the figure and cut it out. You can observe this in figure 11.5. Figure 11.5. Here we have a trapezium WXYZ. 
three sides B, A and H have been marked. 2. Find the midpoint of XY by folding the side and name it A. You can observe it in figure 11.6. Figure 11.6 In this trapezium, Z has been connected to the midpoint of Y and X which is A. Page number 173 3. Cut trapezium WXYZ into two pieces by cutting along ZA. Place triangle ZYA as given in figure 11.7 where AY is placed on AX. Figure 11.7 Here, a dotted line connects A on X which lies on WB. Y has been written within brackets below X. In this triangle, H has been marked as the height. What is the length of the base of the larger triangle? Write an expression for the area of this triangle. You can observe in figure 11.7. 4. The area of this triangle and the area of the trapezium WXYZ are same. How? Get the expression for the area of trapezium by using the expression for the area of triangle. So, to find the area of a trapezium, we need to know the length of the parallel sides and the perpendicular distance between these two parallel sides. Half the product of the sum of the lengths of parallel sides and the perpendicular distance between them gives the area of trapezium. Try these. Find the area of the following trapeziums. You can observe in figure 11.8. Figure 11.8 1. Here we have a trapezium with sides 7 cm and 9 cm. The height is 3 cm. 2. Here we have a trapezium with sides 10 cm and 5 cm. The height is 6 cm. Do this. In class 7, we learned to draw parallelograms of equal areas with different perimeters. Can it be done for trapezium? Check if the following trapeziums are of equal areas but have different perimeters. Figure 11.9 Here we have a trapezium with sides 5, 10, 4, 14. After that, we have a trapezium with sides 8, 8, 8, 4. After that, we have a trapezium with sides 6, 10, 6, 7. Page number 174 We know that all congruent figures are equal in area. Can we say figures equal in area need to be congruent too? Are these figures congruent? Draw at least three trapeziums which have different areas but equal perimeters on a squared sheet. 11.4 Area of a general quadrilateral A general quadrilateral can be split into two triangles by drawing one of its diagonals. This triangulation helps us to find a formula for any general quadrilateral. Study the figure 11.10 Area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC is equal to half AC into H1 within brackets plus half AC into H2 within brackets is equal to half AC into H1 plus H2 within brackets is equal to half D H1 plus H2 within brackets where D denotes the length of diagonal AC. Figure 11.10 Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. The two triangles have heights H1 and H2. Example 1. Find the area of a quadrilateral PQRS given in figure 11.11. Solution In this case, D is equal to 5.5 cm, H1 is equal to 2.5 cm, 
H2 is equal to 1.5 cm. Area is equal to half D H1 plus H2 within brackets is equal to half into 5.5 into 2.5 plus 1.5 within brackets centimeter square is equal to half into 5.5 into 4 centimeter square is equal to 11 centimeter square. Figure 11.11 here we have a quadrilateral PQRS. The two triangles have heights 1.5 cm and 2.5 cm. Try these. We know that parallelogram is also a quadrilateral. Let us also split such quadrilateral into two triangles, find their areas and hence that of the parallelogram. Does this agree with the formula that you know already? Observe figure 11.12. Figure 11.12. Here we have a parallelogram with two sides B and B. There is a diagonal in the middle. Two heights are given with the help of dotted line. They both are named H. Area of special quadrilaterals. We can use the same method of splitting into triangles, which we called triangulation to find a formula for the area of a rhombus. In figure 11.13, ABCD is a rhombus. Therefore, its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Area of rhombus ABCD is equal to area of triangle ACD plus area of triangle ABC. Page number 175 Figure 11.13 Here we have a rhombus a, B, C, D. The diagonals meet at the point O is equal to half into A, C into O, D within brackets plus half into A, C into O, B within brackets is equal to half A, C into O, D plus O, B within brackets is equal to half A, C into B, D is equal to half D1 into D2 where AC is equal to D1 and BD is equal to D2. In other words, area of a rhombus is half the product of its diagonals. Example 2. Find the area of a rhombus whose diagonals are of lengths 10 cm and 8.2 cm. Solution. Area of the rhombus is equal to half D1 D2 where D1 D2 are lengths of diagonals is equal to half into 10 into 8.2 cm square is equal to 41 cm square. Think, discuss and write. A parallelogram is divided into two congruent triangles by drawing a diagonal across it. Can we divide trapezium into two congruent triangles? Try these. Find the area of these quadrilaterals. Observe figure 11.14. Figure 11.14. 1. Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. The diagonal measures 6 cm. Two dotted lines give us the heights of triangles. They are 3 cm and 5 cm. 2. Here we have a quadrilateral with all sides equal to 4 cm. One half of one diagonal measures 7 cm and one half of the other diagonal measures 6 cm. 3. Here we have a quadrilateral with sides 4 cm, 5 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. The height of the triangle is given with a dotted line and it measures 2 cm. The diagonal measures 8 cm. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Narrator Akash Ahuja. Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo. Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar. Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma 
directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary and this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India